Princess Odile Spaniel is trying to look like a dignified and serious royal dog. The new look in dresses is high waistlines and light, flowy fabrics. Princess Odile's dress has gold embroidery and precious pearls along the sides. The pattern on her dress is called Paisley. It comes from India. Princess Odile wears her tiara at court dinners. The rubies and brilliant cut diamonds wink and sparkle in the candlelight. In the center of her belt is a cameo, a gemstone with a portrait of Princess Odile's mother carved on it. Everyone in Paris loves cameos. She wears delicate, low-cut, embroidered slippers. They're for inside, not for walking down the street. Princess Odile wears a diamond and ruby comb in her hair. It matches her earrings and necklace. The princess's scepter has a rose-colored star sapphire called the Star of Liechtenstein. At the top of the scepter is a golden bee. It's the symbol of Napoleon, Emperor of France. She wears a petticoat and a tied bodice. The petticoat is knitted to fit nice and close. Princess Odile wears a fantastic necklace of pale blue diamonds and deep red rubies. Cameos, like the one she wears on her wrist, are carved from ivory, agate stone, and coral from the sea. Soft cashmere shawls with Indian prints are very fashionable. Cashmere fleece comes from the soft bellies of cashmere goats. You will have to comb four goats to make one shawl. The new look in dresses is high waistlines and light, flowy fabrics. Princess Odile's dress has gold embroidery and precious pearls along the sides. Princess Odile's ruby earrings are part of her matched set of court jewelry called a parure. Princess Odile's jeweled fan makes her dress look even more elegant. Her bracelet, a gift from her grandmother, matches her earrings and necklace. are brown in the summer, but in the winter, their fur turns white to match the snow. When Princess Eleanor has her portrait painted, her ermine will be in the picture too. Princess Eleanor uses her wool cloak for traveling. It's made of tapestry and is lined with silk, which makes it warm and easy to slip on and off. A party dress like this has fancy trims. Her linen underslip is called a smock. Princess Eleanor brushes her long blonde hair 100 strokes each morning, then puts it into a braid to keep it neat. She wears a kirtle, or underdress, with tight, long sleeves. Some people wear long, long sleeves that cover their hands. Princess Eleanor's crown is gold with sapphires and diamonds. The sapphires look deep blue in the daylight and red violet in candlelight. The crown is lined with velvet to make it nice and comfortable for her to wear. Look how pointy these shoes are. When the shoe's toes are turned up very far, their tips are tied back up to the knee. Her jeweled gold scepter is decorated with fancy gold wire filigree. It was designed in the Near East and brought all the way to England. 
Princess Eleanor's necklace has deep blue stones speckled with gold. These stones, called lapis lazuli, come from Jerusalem. An aquamaniel is a pitcher used for pouring water to wash your hands. Princess Eleanor's is made in the shape of a winged dragon, a make-believe monster that breathes fire. Princess Eleanor's steeple hat is also called a henin. A whalebone gives its shape. When Eleanor is running around, it's hard to keep her hat on straight. Inside the heart, Princess Eleanor keeps a lock of her mother's hair. shows completely. The first layer Princess Masako puts on is her hitoe, or kimono. The fashion is for geometric patterns, but Princess Masako just loves butterflies. Princess Masako's kitten loves to try to catch the goldfish in the garden pond. Princess Masako wears her flowered crown at court on special occasions. The crown sparkles whenever she moves. Princess Masako sometimes hides behind her fan when she gets the giggles. The women in Masako's palace have very long hair, sometimes even to the floor. At night, they wipe off their painted eyebrows and draw new ones high on their foreheads in the morning. Princess Masako's special belt is called an obi. It ties at the waist. On top of all the other robes, Princess Masako wears a karaginu jacket with fancy designs. The inner robes only show at the neck, wrists, and hem. The colors of the layered robes, uchigi, are very important. They match different flower colors. This set goes with the flower called Sweet Flag Iris. Princess Masako wears comfortable pants, like wide pajama bottoms. They're called hakama and are worn underneath her robes. tame lions and other wonderful animals. Sometimes Princess Pira and the baby lion cub go for walks together. A himation is like a long slip. Ladies wear them underneath their chitons. They are made of pure linen. Everybody in ancient Greece wears chitons, men and women. Chitons are made of wool or linen. Special pins, called fibulae, hold her chiton in place at the shoulders. A peplos is a kind of cloak that women wear. It's colored with a crimson dye made from sea snails. It takes hundreds of snails to dye a cloak. Her crown, called a diadem, is made of beaten gold. You can tell it's her summer crown because it's decorated with summer plants, roses, and laurel leaves. The golden leaves are so thin and delicate that they shimmer even when she's standing still. Princess Pira tamed her dove with barley seeds. Now the bird eats out of her hand. Princess Pira's parasol protects her from the sun and rain. This golden staff is very old. It used to belong to Princess Pira's great-great-grandmother, the first princess. The five separate pieces on her necklace are called catch plates. They are decorated with horses. She uses the little roses to pin the necklace at her shoulders. Princess Pira's hair is naturally curly. She puts it in a braid to keep it out of her face when she practices sprinting. 
Princess Pyrrha holds a smiling sphinx, a make-believe creature with a woman's head, a lion's body, and wings. Sphinxes are very wise. Sometimes they ask difficult riddles. Princess Pyrrha's snake bracelet is decorated with bright red garnet stones from Macedonia. Princess Pyrrha's earrings are golden circles filled with roses, berries, and spirals made of gold wire. Her cuffs are made of solid gold. Gold never tarnishes, so it will always be bright and beautiful. Her golden spiral bracelet is supposed to bring good luck. Princess Pyrrha usually goes barefoot when she's inside, but outside, she wears gilded sandals. Do you really want to quit?